Go. <laughs> and do the orcas learn? I just made it easier for them. <laughs> or, or are you able well, to fake out the orcas? The orcas is so much of, like discussing what your strategy is. You just kind of have to see what other people are doing and kind of try to, I don't know, telepathy, communicate with your fellow orcas as to what your, your strategy is. And you, kind of, you keep in track of your moves, but in a way you keep in track of their moves too. Yeah, so you have to know where they were last and where they can't be anymore to try to come up with some sort of strategy. Well, yeah, I'm thinking that yeah, everyone has to keep track of at least the last move of the ordinance as a way to think about the next one or two moves. Right? So there, there is depth. There's a potential. You know, there won't be as much depth as chess, but there's a, there's movement sort of projection, so there's, there's a potential for strategy. Actually, one thing, <clears throat> there, I think I found a loophole in a game breaker, per se. Is, um, you can't return to the same space, right? Yeah. So why can't the three orcas just quite literally just circle around the square? There would be a point where the player would be able to enter and circle with the orcas. <laughs> 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 we would love to see that happen, but yes, that's because that would happen, right? I like that thought, though. Yeah, so people can stand still until, until they see their little opening. Yeah, and they can do that. Yeah, they can do that. Yeah, they can do that. Yeah, they can do that. That's cute. That would be good. But no, it's good that, that, that you guys were able to find that as well, right? That, 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 that that's within the possibility space of all the, of all the motion, uh, and, and it would pop up at some point. Yeah. yeah, because because there aren't four orcas. There's a, there's three, so there's always one space. Okay. I think watching you guys and starting out, it just feels like random chaos at the beginning. Like you have no strategy, you're just gonna move, move. But then once you start playing, there are like these glimpses where, you're, like during that last round, I was thinking consciously very quickly, where was this person last? There was just glimpses of it. There was some like random, like I'm just guessing right now. But those like moments of interacting with the other players, where they can move, where were they, where I can move, that was like a very fun moment for me. And uh, that was an even, I want to play again moment because I want to practice and get faster. The more I play, the more quicker my brain can take these four different moves. So I really like that aspect. Like, you, could, you could get better at it skill wise. There's a lot of continuous tweaks that you can do to make the game more difficult as you get better at it, such as like you ask the orcas where they had previously been, and like that wouldn't be necessarily an option because orcas can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> right, like or that, and then you can also take or they out, could lie. They were pretty good right, you can take out diagonal movement, um, and we had oh, yeah, a zoom where we're still able to win without diagonal mm -hmm. movement, it just takes a long time. Um, there's a couple tweaks that you can make. We also had it where we had like That's your call entirely. I mean, we can 